frigid waters of the Arctic, a team aboard the U.S. Coast Guard cutter Healy studies the sea ice for signs of climate change. Scientists also monitor the Arctic ice cap from space, and they're worried by what they see. The change over the Arctic sea ice is stunning. We never ever seen such a large change before. Just between uh, 2005 and this winter, uh, the change in the perennial ice, which is the uh, thick, uh, large uh, Arctic sea ice, reduced by a million square kilometer. That's about the uh, area of California and Texas combined. A chunk of thick ice the size of two states has disappeared in two years. Is global warming the calls? Son Yem and Greg Newman of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory say they don't have enough data yet to tell, but they do know at least part of the answer is blowing in the wind. We believe it's due to an uh, unusual wind pattern which caused the ice to be pushed out of the Arctic past Greenland, and then it melted. In the Arctic Ocean, normally, there is a current called the Transpolar Drift that go from the Russian side toward the Canadian side and out to the Greenland Sea. This wind pattern pushed the ice on both sides of this current and loaded into this current. It pushed it or, or accelerated out like a, a runaway train. When thick perennial ice is lost, it's hard to reverse the trend. There are two kinds of Arctic ice. There's the kind of ice that sticks around for many years, more than one, and that can grow to be very thick. And then there's a the kind of ice that uh, grows and melts every year. It seems that in recent years, as ice has been lost, it gets easier to lose more ice. It's more sensitive to the weather patterns, the wind, and other factors. It means that various kinds of uh, creatures that live in the Arctic, the polar bears, the seals, they could be affected. The reduction of Arctic sea ice has been occurring over the past eight years. It is likely that it may continue, but there's no guarantee for that. Satellites like NASA's QuickScat can identify different types of sea ice, where it's moving, and determine if it's growing or shrinking. So while scientists may not have a complete answer to why the ice is disappearing, they have the tools to study it.